to another commentary done by Diggity. Up right in corner, we have Striker starting as the Blue Zerg. Up left in corner, we have Seriosity starting as the Red Protoss. Once again, this is Fighting Spirit. This is going to be the first game of set three between Seriosity and Striker. Maybe I should upload these games a bit staggered, like upload a set. I got to figure out something for filler because I'm not... I mean, I'm... I'm sure the viewing audience is like, Fighting Spirit, Fighting Spirit, Fighting Spirit, what else should we expect out of this, right? But maybe I can find something to mix it up in between, like a full set of Fighting Spirit and then something, I don't know. I don't, if you guys know where to get good replays, let me know. Because BSL is my go-to location, obviously. As far as getting Korean professional replays, I honestly don't know where people get them. Every once in a while, you can uh, scrounge, steal, and beg one of the top level players to get replays. The NA team battles I lucked out. But Hustle League's coming towards an end. Revolution Veer's covering Choba League. We'll see from there. Anyway, this time Seriosity once again going to get first scout, making his way to the right of Striker. And I think Striker not seeing... Should... With this Overlord positioning, I'm wondering if he doesn't see the probe, if he'll realize the positioning of his opponent. Looks like he's opening up with a 9 pool once again. Actually, was that over pool? I think that might have been over pool. Possibly nine pool. He's he's got early Zerg links. I wasn't even paying attention. Pile on there at the natural expansion. So Seriosity gonna have eyes. No, should know that he should plop down a forge. Currently, has not sent out a probe uh, to put down the forge in short order. Spawning pool building. Maybe he's waiting to see if the larva pool. Um, but we've seen multiple matches this time where he's been a little bit lazy on getting that forge down and defense down, and Striker has been able to capitalize, at least in a match, and has almost capitalized in matches following. We are seeing that forge first. He's hanging out, wants to keep an eye on the larva to follow. Spawning pool finishes. Oh, hatchery is up, so no blockade there. Yeah, I think that was over pool. Only two Zerglings being built here from Striker. Seriosity doesn't... Not, usually, if you're going to see any sort of push, all three larvae would be created. So instead, he's going to opt for a Nexus first. Is waiting to go ahead and plop his cannon down. The drone is going to make its way across. So the cannon won't be there to stop the photon cannon for up again, but... Anything else? Extractor being grabbed. Feels a little bit late at uh, 220... 230-something along those lines. Potentially because he didn't open up 12th hatch, that would... Uh, makes sense. My brain is not in this today. I'm having one of those. This is like the fighting spirit of casting on this side of it. Like doing it late night, wanting to make sure I get it out there. Uh, so a little bit more lackadaisical. That drone returning to home base upon seeing that expansion behind uh, cannon. Gateway also on the front. Assimilator being tacked on at the three minute mark for Seriosity as well. And a third base being grouped up at the three o'clock base. So now it's Comes down to the critical thing for Striker. Striker wants to knock that probe down. And Seriosity desperately wants to keep it alive. Only a single Zergling hanging out topside on the ramp. The probe taking several hits, but able to wind right back around to go ahead and sneak in the base. The drone coming off, going ahead and spitting in his face, but he's going to go ahead and see that layer morphing. That 330 mark. Two drones transferring to the natural expansion. Having a little bit of trouble... Uh, ending around, and is Seriosity going to bring this probe home? Nope, going to lose him. And I'm wondering if this is going to... Is this going to... I almost wondered if the layer would get cancelled at that stage, but it looks like, no, this is going to transition probably into 3-hatch slash 4-hatch uh, play. First sell it is being produced. Cybernex core already well along the line. And an Overlord is going to go ahead and sneak forward to kind of get a good look here. No zealots, actually. So the I, I believe that cybernetic score was before this first zealot. So interesting play there. Uh, looks like Seriosity is ahead in the overall worker count. So benefit there. A zealot moving out to force a couple of zerglings to be produced. But, and also potentially to get a look at the drone counts at various locations. Third base just now getting its first drones there. Layer is finished. Additional zerglings have been produced potentially to deal with the zealot. The zealot is marching into the 3 o'clock location. Two drones already on location. And a spire being planted for striker. So going 3 hatch, spire play. We'll mix it up a little bit. Uh, we'll see if he shifts back to that 4 hatchery style. Is he going to get a drone kill with the zealot is the next question. The zerglings engaging wholesale, really doing a lot of damage before it is able to sneak back behind the lines. So nice anticipation there by striker. 
Only one Zergling getting killed. So the Zealot not really trading efficiently. Four drones at that 3 o'clock location. Are additional drones being produced? Yeah, it looks like additional drones uh, saturating right there. Spire about halfway done, but that first Corsair halfway finished himself. Citadel of a Dune in the background. Not sure that there's... Yeah, we'll see how things uh, go. Level 1 weapons migrating. There's a drone to block. Or a drone. A probe to block the front door just in case these Zerglings are going to try to slip by. So nice little bit of a, a blockade there. Trying to raise my energy level. First Corsair floating out. Feels a bit lackadaisical. A bit like me. Uh, maybe I'm just projecting here. Probably am projecting. This is going to be more, I guess, the silly cast. No second gas being grabbed, so, which leads me to believe that Striker is going to go ahead and plant that fourth hatchery down on his front door. It looks like he went over it. <laughs> just as I'm saying that, planning it. Evolution Chamber as well. So this is the very strong Come At Me Bro style actually grabbing a fifth hatch that I missed at the 3 o'clock location as well. Corsair sneaking out and wants to try to dodge. So two Corsairs out. See how well they get microed. Want to try to dodge the Scourge and keep eyes. This is a far enough location away. It actually may be potentially the, this Corsair can either expedite or provide additional vision. Initial Scourge coming across. Seriosity is responding in time. Is able to... Oh! End around. One dodged. Unfort oh, doing a little bit of dancing. His hit on either side. Is he gonna get, is he gonna be able to get around? Is able to get around there. A third Corsair is moving into Striker's main. Overlord speed is being upgraded, but this is a pretty big investment. Looks like I think one of the Scourge hit, so I only see one Corsair uh, left. This able to get additional scouting information at the very least. But four Zealots grouping up. And unfortunately, that Scourge hits as well. So two Corsairs taken out. They didn't even get an Overlord. That was a significant investment. The Zealots marching across the map. There are Hydralisks in position already. To go ahead and blockade this. And the drone's pulling off the line. To go ahead and provide additional defense. One drone down. So Striker getting caught a little bit off guard. Didn't have quite the Hydralisks he wanted to engage that. Plenty of Hydralisks. At the 3 o'clock base. Hydralisk speed not online yet, but should be there momentarily. Thus far, Seriosity actually, with the despite losing those Corsair, another Corsair making its way out, by the way. Ahead in the overall supply count. Is tacking on some additional gateways. Sidestorm on the way has his first High Templar out. And is basically trying, I think he's trying to keep these Corsairs out here because he wants to see if there's any transition to Mutalisk. Because again, Striker can be so abusive off this five base Spire Hydralisk play because he can do tech switches in a moment. And I think Seriosity is very much concerned about that. And it's so hard, and Striker does a good job of map control with those Scourge. Overlord actually tracking, I think, the Corsair position potentially to send in a Scourge and knock it out once again. Yeah, you can see already the Scourge making its way out. And a six hatchery being planted as Overlord Speed comes align, online at the 3 o'clock location. And Overlord sneaking in. No, yeah, Scourge just annihilating these Corsair. That's four Corsair picked off by Scourge thus far. The Overlord scouting the front base. And as these Corsair keep getting knocked out of the air with the presence of a sizable economy. And just, yeah. And that, that's the thing. I, I understand Seriosity's point of view here. You keep building Corsairs because if you don't, there is the potential for Striker just to pool a bunch of money and do a rapid tech switch on you. He is grabbing a third gas now. Some Zealots kind of positioning to the bottom right. And that just shows you how abusive he can be in this matchup. Level 1 weapons. This is interesting. Level 1 melee weapons being upgraded. Potentially for a counter Zergling Flood in the mid-game. Maybe. And I'm wondering if that was a misclick or not. There are a lot of Hydralisks towards the front. And here, yeah, we already see some Mutalisks being fielded. Potentially to start assailing the natural expansion. Photon cannons are morphing. I think the Zealots saw it along the way. They are going to be able to go ahead and take out this drone that was trying to take an additional base. That's going to maybe delay these Mutalisks. They're looking for positioning across the field. Now, yeah, I think that might have been a misclick. Level 1 Spines coming online. Lurker Aspect also coming online. And Seriosity still not in feeling comfortable grabbing a third base. Still, I don't feel like he's comfortable with the amount of air control. Range still upgrading. Some cannons there to help defend. But ugh, Mutalisks looking to pick off some High Templar in between. 
And Seriosity just, yeah, getting an extra pylon, maybe wants another cannon behind this line. He really wants to protect these High Templar across the front. Level 1 armor coming online to help protect those High Templar. Zealots, I think that was on patrol, marching to the bottom right-hand corner. Hybelus is going to go ahead and clear them out. They're trying to escort a drone there. Mutalisks coming back around. They're going to go ahead and clear these Zealots out. The Zealots trying to make that job a little bit harder, but already 45 drones, great saturation across three bases for Striker. He's got level one uh, melee, although he's mostly been in Lurker aspect. Level one spines, that might give Seriosity some room. Seriosity has not yet made movement towards the third base. He does have that robotics facility out. He has the observatory, but no observers as of yet to feel comfortable moving out against potential Lurkers. And Striker gonna go ahead and grab that fourth base in the bottom right-hand corner. So this is going to be a heads up Macro, it looks like Striker going a little bit more defensive with his Lurker. I, I've seen him be much more aggressive with his Lurker placement in previous iterations of his play, where he kind of goes for more soft contains across the bridge, where he's uh, gone for just straight-up aggressive Lurker contains. The Mutalisk is getting pushed back by the Corsair and Dragoon right here as they're marching out. Is Seriosity going to go for attack right now? He's about even on supply. He is going to have to rely again on that Observer Control, which has been... Really, the, the army positioning and the observer control, Striker has been just abusing in previous matches. And that this isn't like a tick on Seriosity. This is more a compliment to how strong Striker has been in both army placement and his just abusive playstyle against that. He just really has been hurting Protoss in their ability to engage that. The Mutal is trying to cycle around, pick off High Templar. I think one High Templar might have gotten picked off uh, in the midst of that. And also can really hurt some reinforcements if they're not well covered. And Seriosity, ooh, that High Templar exposed. He's going to live yet another day. Seriosity moving across the map. Looks like he was trying to grab that 9 o'clock, but the Mutalus is counterattacking. This army getting mirrored at other locations. It looks like he wants to maybe strike this bottom right-hand corner. The Hydralisks engaging right there. Looks like they're going to go ahead and back off. Some reinforcements moving up, but it's one of them is a Zealot. I don't know that these two Dragoons are going to be sufficient. But Seriosity has swept through. It looks like he wants to potentially engage at the 3 o'clock. Hydralix are there as well as a Lurker Egg blocking the ramp. Yeah, the Dragoons engaging. Nexus about halfway finished right there. We'll see if anything gets accomplished. This is going to buy a lot of time to get reinforcements. And Seriosity now pinned against the wall as Lurkers and Hydralix are coming from the left. A lot of those Lurkers were bunched up, though, and so they're eating a huge amount of Psy Storm. And a great Psy Storm from Seriosity, completely annihilating everything Striker presented. So Striker's going to have to rely on reinforcements to sneak through. It looks like a Zealot was able to run up there and delay things a little bit. But just brutal macro from this economy from Striker, able to produce overwhelming amount of Hydralis. So despite having incredible Psy Storms, Seriosity losing this army... Really solid size drums all the way around. 9 o'clock base did manage to sneak up, but Seriosity lost his standing army. Striker's still behind the overall supply count coming out of it. Looks like a Zealot managed to sneak in, but it's going to get pinned to the mineral line by drones of all things. One of them getting taken out in that effort. Go battle drones, go. So Striker holding was able to wipe that army out, but another army fielded immediately by Seriosity. Let's see if this turns into a swing to his advantage. If he can go ahead and maybe capitalize and attack bottom right. Two more additional hatcheries being planted as well as an extractor. Queen's Nest just being planted to potentially go to Hive Tech. Lurkers and Hydralis moving there, but that is a big distance to run. Lurkers morphing on the ramp. Striker abusing the map architecture to go ahead and buy himself some time. Some reinforcing Dragoons moving across the way. There is an Observer in this back line. No Overlord to detect it. So he's going to be doing fine. And also with the Rush, that tends to force those Lurkers to clump a little bit more. These Dragoons, however, reinforcing are going to eat a lot of Spines. The Overlord's moving forward, looking to pick off those Observers from either end. And it looks like Striker, yeah, able to get the better of this split. Potentially, the Dragoons now firing on those Lurkers, trading well. So he's still got a standing army. But there was a lot of time there bought by Striker. He's behind the overall supply count. Level 2 armor now online. The Observers finally getting in position to go ahead and clear this Lurker up on the high ground. I think a Zealot might have even gotten it. Yeah, it looks like there's a Zealot in the midst of things there. 
can hear it. Can't quite spot it. Some drones transferring in the midst of this. Striker's like, just lazily like, you know what? I think I'm going to be able to clear this out despite everything. So the drones just making their way down there as well. I think this is kind of uh, like almost boxer fatigue. Hydra's moving in. They have level one weapon, level one carapace. Maybe a bit of a shift in play for Striker. And yeah, the Dragoon's just getting overwhelmed now without reinforcements by these Hydralisks. So the three... So a lot of drones getting emptied in that bottom right-hand base, but the Dragoons are cleaned up. Still more reinforcements coming, and Seriosity's going to have to back off. He does have this third base up and running, but he might want to think about going ahead and grabbing a fourth because it is only going to be a moment before Striker is able to grab additional territory. Looks like he's reading my mind because he's already grabbing something in the bottom left. The Overlord immediately sneaking up. Was that even on patrol? Just had the instinct and found it. The Hydralisk's repositioning now. Moving their way bottom left, Seriosity out of position to defend that. Striker's game sense, I tell you. Moving into the bottom left. And just crushing the pylon that was there. Seriosity in a dash to get down here and potentially save his Nexus. Striker wants to preserve these Hydralisks, however. Sidestorm a little bit high, forcing the Zealots back away. Nice little micro movement there by Seriosity to preserve some shield health on those Zealots. Seriosity doing a pretty good job macroing. Also doing a good job in the upgrade field has those, that level 2 armor. He's going to be able to establish the space, it looks like. It's, gonna, it's a wide field to cover, though. But Striker going to very comfortably go ahead and plop some lurkers and grab that inside expansion. More Hydralisks looking to move midfield. Keep in mind, it is a mostly wide open midfield. And Striker does not have any lurkers planted except near his natural expansion currently. And the forges are spinning. Do we have a second forge somewhere back here? Looks like we do have a second forge there that's going to allow a weapons upgrade press. Level 2 weapons, level 3 armor should be there momentarily. We only have the single evolution chamber just now starting level 2 spines, but Hive Tech is on the way for Striker. Striker even on worker count. But we've just seen him, yeah, just do some fantastic map positioning in the midst of this. Some Hydralisks repositioning. A big crash of forces here in the middle of the map. The Hydralisk is going to go ahead and back up to the Lurker line. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so we can get a good look at all of this. Actually, finally using the zoom out features. While this is happening, we have some Hydralisk pressing into that bottom left-hand corner as a distractionary attack. The cannons are not there. Seriosity is committed, and unfortunately, yeah, once again, the observers look like they got picked off. So the Lurker is just doing an immense amount of damage. Go ahead and return. I like how it actually mutes that a little bit. So Probe's getting obliterated bottom left and corner. Seriosity in flight trying to get his army down there. Striker moving in cutoff forces to distract them. Nice side storm to try to clear some reinforcements up. A Scourge has just been trailing this entire time. And the Hydralisks moving up now that they've obliterated all the probes there. Seriosity down to 45 probes. And the Dragoons now getting swarmed by Zerglings in the middle of the map. Once Adrenal Upgrades is online, I fear for these Dragoons' lives. Yeah, Zer and I, I gotta assume it might be there. So Hive Tech is here. Is Adrenal... Never mind. Adrenal's just started. But Striker able to get in on top of those Dragoons. Now with a sizable worker count lead. Has not yet saturated that inside natural expansion, but has obliterated Seriosity's expansion here. Seriosity's main is gone. Natural expansion is looking somewhat thin, so he's basically at two and a half bases compared to Seriosity's four, or sorry, Strikers four, potentially five, if you count the main. Defiler Mount, not that far away. Zerglings pressing forward. And this is where, yeah, Seriosity needs to start thinking about getting some Archons. 23 kills on this Archon. I, I assume that's from Psystorm that was in between. Zerglings continuing to just press through, and it almost feels like there's, like, rallied troops for Striker. Just on top, he's just, you know what, I'm just going to rally troops to this location from Atri and let them do whatever. And that will force Seriosity to be pinned back while I continue to macro up and gather resources and just obliterate things. I like the Scourge on patrol just in case there were potential drops in the midst of this. Shields being upgraded. Level 3 weapons on the way. Level 2 weapons online. So there is an upgrade advantage for Seriosity here. Ventral Sacks being upgraded. Consume as well. Striker with a slight economic lead. But as far as just head up army groupings, Seriosity 
should, pound for pound, beat him. Overlord at the forward position. Scourge looking to dive on any observers. No observers, though, in the midst of this. The Lurker is backing up and burrowing. I'm not sure if that was a Scourge dying or a Scourge landing, to be honest. Poor Zealots, like, in the midst of this. Some Zerglings dashing a little bit too far forward. A Zealot chasing down... That's... Be careful, bro. And Reserver to the north trying to reposition. There is a defensive Overlord there that Striker can potentially land on. Supply counts dead even. Seriosity looking for an area that he can potentially punch through at. He's kind of hiding a, a grouping of troops. He's also got another army on the front. Side storming, kind of doing empty side storms on single lurkers out to the front because he's a little bit wary to press Dragoons forward into the midst of that. Another stream of Zerglings moving midfield. And you can just see all of the blue. I'm going to just take vision off for a second. All right, let's... Yeah, do this. You can just see all the vision that Striker has just through troop movement alone. Look at these pockets of troops absolutely everywhere. Defiler's also taking the field potentially to drop Plague. The Archons are going mitig to mitigate Dark Swarm, but that does make that bottom left hand expansion extremely fragile to Zergling and Dark Swarm takedowns. Blanketing Storm here. The Dragoon just getting absolutely obliterated. The rest of the troops trying to regroup, and the Lurker line just... Doing all sorts of damage. More Zerglings flooding through. Some Dark Swarm are going to make that Dragoon, those, that Dragoon line very ineffective. Archons do pretty well. But with all of the Archons eating that Lurker fire, they're not lasting very long at all. Zealots in the midst of the Dark Swarm. Lurker's cleaning what's left of that up. And now a lot of bases exposed. Seriosity realizing he does not the, have the economy to keep it rolling. And just lost map control. It was just going to be a cleanup operation, potentially to take out that 9 o'clock base and that bottom left for Striker, which would have left him economically devastated. So game one of set three goes to Striker once again. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.